I believe in as little government as possible. I'm very pro-science. I believe if you make a claim as far as possible, point to the research. If you don't have the research, say it's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. I'm pro-clear thinking, and I'm also pro-basic human rights, basic democratic rights. Okay. So let's get okay. to the first one. Women, <laughs> should women not shouldn't vote. vote. Yes. Women yeah. shouldn't vote. Let's look at that. Women shouldn't vote. Mm -hmm. I believe some of your reasoning, because I did my homework on you, okay. is that women just don't know how to make good decisions. They're dumber. They're not good decision makers. Is that well, fair? Yeah, well, I would say it's because we don't do the hard jobs in society. We don't pay the majority of the taxes. So I've always said as a caveat, you know, if a woman's tax paying, not on child support, not on alimony, uh, but and um, or, or does an infrastructure job like she's involved in the military. I, I think that would be more of an exception, though, than the rule. So let's look at the logical extension of that idea. Yeah. By that reasoning and by that rule, men who do white collar jobs, mm -hmm. accountants, attorneys, engineers mm -hmm. should not have the right to vote because they're not doing that hard work. Well, if they're net taxpayers, they would. OK, yeah, well, women pay taxes, too. So what are you going to do, Pearl? Let's look at this practically, mm -hmm. Pearl. Mm -hmm. Are we going to review everybody's tax returns to see if they're qualified to vote? Mm -hmm. If we're really going to stick to your idea and take it beyond a pro uh, provocation into an actual practical idea, are we going to look at everybody's tax returns? What about people? Let me finish. Mm -hmm. What about people who one year are paying a lot of taxes because they're making a lot of money and the next year? They're not making a lot of money, and so they're not paying right. a lot of taxes. Right. Practically speaking, yeah. how do you administer it? You can't do it. Yeah, that's, that's true. number one. Okay. And number two, and number two, as a libertarian, I want as little government as possible. Mm -hmm. But as a libertarian, I think it's a basic fundamental value of any democracy. If you're subject to the laws that the government is going to impose upon you mm -hmm. by force, because that's how government imposes its law, it does it by threat of putting you in jail or harming you physically, mm -hmm. then you should have a say in what those rules are. It's just if you are being affected by those laws, you have the right to have a say in it. That's mm -hmm. just basic, fundamental human rights that's basic enshrined yeah. in the Constitution. I, I guess it, for me, it's difficult when you, you don't have any skin in the game. You know, when you have people voting for more benefits and more handouts that, that don't face the consequences of paying for them, I guess is where I, I have a problem. And, you know, I you agree. know, the women shouldn't vote is more <laughs> tongue in cheek because I just think a lot of women. <sighs> I mean, it, I just see a lot of useless jobs that we're doing. Uh, you know, human resources, uh, just, and I think that's and, a strong, and, and, and women that are, a, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I think that's a strong man. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay. So there are plenty of women who are judges, plenty of women who are attorneys. I know in my family, and again, this is a, yeah. just a small sample. My family, all the women are professionals. I have a sister who's an entrepreneur, a multimillionaire mm -hmm. in real estate, my one of my nieces is very, very famous. I'm not going to mention her. Ice knows who she is because she doesn't want her name right. associated with Ross Jeffries. She could buy and sell all of us 20 times over. She's a two time best selling author. A well, she gets $25,000 yeah. per speech. So the, and and I know, and I say this res with respect. I'm not attacking you. Yeah. Your own yeah. mother is an incredibly successful CEO. She raised ten kids. Mm -hmm. That woman, you should be kvelling about her. Kvelling is a Yiddish word that means just glowing with joy and boasting about her mm -hmm. with total pride. So, if you're going to make it about accomplishment, then how are you going to measure that? Mm -hmm. And as far as voting for benefits. Mm -hmm. That's a leftist thing. Yeah. That's not a feminist thing. That's a leftist thing. Mm -hmm. I think we have, I can't speak to the UK. Yeah. I'm assuming the UK is worse than the United States. But in the United States, the left has taken over completely. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a entitlement state. It's right. a welfare state. And now with the uncontrolled, out of control, open border, which is a leftist policy, we have more and more people on the dole. 
Right. And right. that, again, is a function not of gender, but of the left. Mm -hmm. um, I really, truly believe that. The left is destroying the United States of America. I'm assuming it's not doing a good thing to England either. Again, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's the same. But, I, but the women are the ones that are voting for these policies. Are they, or is it, so it's, what's your it's, data? It's, it's single women. They're the biggest swing voters. And that's, that's what I found when I was, when I was trying to talk to like men's rights advocates um, in the UK, it was basically that it, it's tough for them to get any things passed because women are the biggest swing voters in elections. I don't know. And, and I just, and I just didn't, I didn't think that was, I mean, if you look at the last election, it was like um, that it was, when that was the biggest voting bloc that voted Democrat. I don't know if that's true or not. Mm -hmm. I just don't have the data. I don't know if that's true or not. But what I will say, it's people who are voting for leftist policies across the board. Mm -hmm. That's what's destroying. I don't know that it's a gender thing. I just don't. I really just don't know. Yeah. And I think it's a leftist thing. The left is and this is going to turn into a political show. Yeah. But as a libertarian, I'm against any group that's trying to grow big government. And uh, 